सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन द सेकेंड सेशन ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल द लास्ट सेशन वी आर डिस्कसिंग विद द होमोजीनियस प्रॉब्लम्स राइट सो या वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू दैट विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम सिंस देर आर मेनी मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स टू बी सॉल्व ओके इन दिस मॉड्यूल या सो दिस इज द फोर्थ क्वेश्चन ऑफ इट्स गिवन एज डी क्यूब प्लस वन इन टू वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो हियर इट इज नॉट गिवन इन द डिवेटिव फॉर्म दे आर डायरेक्टली रिटर्न इट एज डी क्यूब प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो ओके सो नाउ फॉर दिस वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व इट नाउ सो नाउ फर्स्ट वी नीड टू पुट डी इज इक्वल टू एम अकॉर्डिंग टू द ऑक्सिलरी इक्वेशन राइट दैट इज एम क्यू प्लस वन इन टू वाई is equal to sorry is equal to zero here the some of the terms are missing that is m cube plus 0 m square in order to be a complete polynomial plus 0 m plus 1 is equal to zero so now it is a complete poly, cubic polynomial right so we know that for cubic polynomial and to do the synthetic division for that consider the coefficients 1 0 0 and 1 and now we need to find the first root of this equation that is put it in the calculator x cube right so while we're putting in the calculator don't need to put these two terms we can only write directly write it as x cube x cube plus 1 okay x cube plus 1 that's enough put, hit the calc button press the equal to sign so it asks the value of x here now so first value put it as 0 so we get it got it as 1 again press the equal to now put the value of x as 1 so we got 2 so again put the x cal now put the value of x as minus 1 yeah see we got the equation as 0 so the first root we got here is equal to minus 1 okay the so same thing bring this one down multiply minus 1 into 1 equal to minus 1 0 minus 1 is equal to minus 1 minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1 0 plus 1 is 1 and then minus 1 into plus 1 equal to minus 1 so we got this as 0 so the required equation which we are getting is m square minus m plus 1 equal to 0 so now for this we are going to apply the quadratic formula yeah, so now let's apply the quadratic formula for this here the value of since the equation is m square minus m plus 1 so here the value of d here is minus 1 so it, since there is minus b so minus of minus 1 equal to plus 1 square root of minus 1 square equal to plus 1 again minus 4 into 1 into 1 that is 4 divided by 2 into 1 that is 2 so m equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 4 is equal to minus 3 right divided by 2 so m is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of So here it is. There is minus sign. So minus one. So put i square, three i square by two. M is equal to one into plus or minus square root of three. Square root of three. Cap keep at is as it is. Square root of i square. Square and root get cancelled. So it is equal to i by two. Okay. So the roots which we are getting here is one plus root three i by two, comma one minus root three i by Okay, so the total roots we are getting here is so first root is minus one comma one plus or minus square root of three i by two, right? These are the total roots. So now the general solution can be written as y is equal to first root is minus one, so c one e to the power minus x plus This is of the form alpha plus or minus i into beta, right? Where the value of alpha is one by two. Okay, it's not only one because there is a denominator. There is two. We can even split and write it. That is one by two plus or minus root three by two i. Okay, we can even write it in this form. Okay, yeah. So the final uh, solution would be looking like y is equal to c one e to the power minus x plus c two cos beta x, right? Beta value here is root three by two x. The c3 sine root 3 by 2x into e to the power alpha. Here is 1 by 2x. So this is your required general solution. Okay. 
so yeah we are going to solve some more problems so this is your next problem see here the question is given in the form of fourth derivative right fourth order derivative d power 4 is there so here we need to apply the synthetic division twice in order to reach the quadratic equation right yeah so we will solve this now first first step is put d is equal to m as per the auxiliary equation so now it becomes 4 m power 4 minus 8 m cube minus 7 m square plus 11 m plus 6 equal to 0 so now again the same thing we need to find the first root write the coefficients 4 minus 8 minus 7 11 and 6 so now put this equation in the calculator yeah so i've put this equation in the calculator so now press the calc it asks the value of x put the value of x as 0 first the answer we got is 6 press the equal to again put the value of x now as 1 so now again it's not equal to 0 so now put the value of x as minus 1 yeah see we got x as 0 so the first root here is m equal to minus 1 so now again bring this 4 down minus 1 into 4 is minus 4 minus 8 plus minus 4 that is minus 8 minus 4 minus 12 minus 1 into minus 12 equal to plus 12 so we need to add this minus 7 plus 12 is equal to plus 5 minus 1 into 5 is minus 5 11 minus 5 is 6 minus 1 into 6 is minus 6 6 minus 6 is 0 yeah we are getting the last term as 0 so now using this right the there are four terms right so we get a cubic polynomial now 4m cube minus 12m square plus 5m plus 6 equal to 0 so now again this is the cubic polynomial now again we need to apply the synthetic division so here this is the first root so whatever here we get right that is our second root okay again write the coefficients 4 minus 12 5 6 so now in order to find the first root again put this in the calculator the equation yeah so i have written this in the calculator now press the calc button it asks ask the value of x first put it as 0 it's not equal to 0 again now 1 no minus 1 no so now put the value of x as 2 yeah so when we put the value of x as 2 we get the root as 0 okay so now again bring this 4 down 2 4s are 8 we need to add this minus 12 plus 8 is equal to minus 4 2 into minus 4 is minus 8 minus 5 plus of minus 8 so 5 minus 8 equal to minus 3 2 into minus 3 is minus 6 6 minus 6 is 0 see if we get now in using this write the quadratic equation 4m square minus 4m minus 3 is equal to 0 so now for this we are going to apply the formula and find the roots okay, so now let's apply the formula so the value of b here is minus 4 so minus of minus 4 is equal to plus 4 square root of minus 4 whole square is 16 minus 4 into a into c so 4 into the value of c here is minus 3 into 4 right so in the formula we have minus right so this becomes now plus 4 4 are 16 16 3 is 48 right yeah divided by 2 4 is 8 m is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 48 plus 6 16 48 plus 16 equal to 64 by 8 m equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 64 is equal to 8 m equal to 4 plus 8 by 8 or 4 minus 8 by 8 which corresponds to 4 plus 8 is 12 by 8 comma 4 minus 8 is minus 4 by 8 so that is we can uh, simply reduce this 4 2s are 4 3s are and 4 1s are 4 2 are. so the roots which we get here is 3 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 okay so the total roots which we are getting here is first root we got here is minus 1 second root is 2 right these by doing 2 times synthetic division we got these 2 roots 
along with 3 by 2 and minus 1 by 2. Yeah, so now the general solution would be looking like c1 e to the power minus x plus c2 e to the power second root 2x plus c3 e to the power 3 by 2x plus c4 e to the power minus 1 by 2 x. So this is your required general solution. We will solve some more problems. So this is your next question. Again, this is of the fourth derivative order. 4d4 minus 4d power cube minus 23d square minus 12d plus 36. So this is a very important question. Please note it down. So again, the same thing. The first put d is equal to m. So now it will be 4m4 minus 4m cube minus 23m square plus 12m plus 36 equal to 0. So again same thing, you apply the synthetic division, write the coefficients 4 minus 4 minus 23, 12 and 36. So put this equation in the calculator. You have to, uh, apply this equation in the calculator, press the calc button. The first value of x put it as 0, we get it as 36, 1, 25, minus 1, 9, 2, yeah, when you put the value of x as 2, we get it as 0. So now again, bring this 4 down, 2 4s are 8, minus 4 plus 8 is equal to plus 4, again 2 4s are 8, minus 23 plus 8 is equal to minus 15, minus 15 into 2 is equal to minus 30, 12 minus 30 is equal to minus 18, minus 18 to the 36 minus 36 yeah we get it as 0 so now let's write the cubic polynomial 4m cube plus 4m square minus 15m minus 18 equal to 0 so for this again we need to apply the synthetic division 4 4 coefficients are again apply this equation in the calculator so I have put this equation in the calculator. So now again put the value of x first as 0. Again now put 1. It's not equal to 0. Minus 1. No. 2. Yeah. Again the root here is 2. Right. Again the same thing. Bring this 4 down. 2 4s are 8. 4 plus 8 is 12. 2 into 12 is 24, minus 15 plus 24 equal to plus 9, 2 9s are 18, and minus 18 plus 18 equal to 0. So now the equation is m square plus 12m plus 9, m 4m square plus 12m plus 9 equal to 0. So now for this let us apply the formula and solve it. So the value of uh, b here is my 12, so minus 12 plus or minus square root of 12 square is 144 minus 4 into a is 4, b is 9. So 4 4 is 16, 16 into 9, 16 9s are again 16 9s are 1, 16 9s are 144 again, yeah, divided by 2 4 is 8 minus 12 plus or minus 144 minus 144 is 0 so m is equal to minus 12 by 8 comma minus 12 by 8 since it's plus or minus 0 right 4 2's are 4 3's are for the roots which you get here is minus 3 by 2 comma minus 3 by 2 right so the total roots are 2 comma 2 minus 3 by 2 comma minus 3 by 2 so here we can see that 2 is repeating twice and minus 3 by 2 is repeating twice so we can write it as the general solution we can write it as c1 plus c2x for the 2 we will write it power 2x plus c3 plus c4x for e to the power minus 3 by 2 x okay since 2 and minus 3 by 2 are repeating twice so we have written it in this form 
So this is your required general solution for this question. So we will solve one more problem. Yeah, so this is your next question. d cube y by dx cube minus 8y is equal to 0. So again, I replace all the d cube by dx cube terms. So that will be now d cube y minus 8y equal to 0. So bring y as common. So d cube minus 8 into y is equal to 0. So we have some more terms missing that square and uh, d term. So d cube plus 0 d square plus 0 d minus 8 to y equal to 0 right yeah again now here for this we need to put d is equal to m so that it could be m cube plus 0 m square plus 0 m minus 8 equal to 0 so again this is a cubic polynomial apply the quadratic equation the coefficients are 1 0 0 and minus 8 so again for first root put the equation yeah, so I have written the equation x cube minus 8, right? Yeah. So, first put the value of uh, x as 0. We, we, it's not there. So, 1. Again, minus 1. No. 2. Yeah, for again the value of, for the root 2, the value of this equation equal to 0. So, again bring this 1 down. 2 1s are 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 2s are 4. 0 plus 4, 4, 2 4s are 8, minus 8 plus 8 again is equal to 0. So by using these three, the equation here is m square plus 2m plus 4 equal to 0. So now for this, let's apply the quadratic formula. So value of b here is 2. So minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square, right? Is 4 minus 4 ac, 4 into 1 into 4, that is 16 divided by 2 m is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 16 is minus 2l by 2 m is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of this again remove this minus sign add i square by 2 m is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2l keep it as it is i by 2 so now we can split this square root of 2l by minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 into 3 right so, so that square root of 4 here is 2 right so I have splitted it i by 2 so m is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 here is 2 root 3 i by 2 so here the, uh, we can take 2 common in the numerator 2 into minus 1 plus or minus square root of 3 i by 2. So we can cancel these two here. So the remaining term left here is minus 1 plus or minus square root of root 3i. Okay. Yeah. So let's write the total roots now. Yeah, so the total roots we get here is 2 comma minus 1 plus or minus square root of 3i. Therefore the general solution is y is equal to first root is 2 c1 e to the power 2x plus again this is of the form alpha plus or minus i into beta alpha is minus 1 beta is root 3 so c2 cos beta x root 3x plus c3 sin root 3x e to the power alpha x minus x where of alpha is minus 1 so this is the required general solution yeah so that's all for this session so in the next session we are going to discuss with the non-homogeneous equations okay till now we had discussed all the homogeneous equation where the value of r of x that is the value of the differential uh, derivative is equal to zero right so now after this session we are going to discuss the non-homogeneous equation where we would be having certain values for r of x okay we will be having different types of values okay yeah, so in that we will be having type 1, type 2, type 3. I am going to tell you that what do you mean by type 1 problems, type 2 problems and type 3 problems. Okay. Yeah, so that's all for this session. Thank you.